How can contingencies protect you when buying a home? Well, that's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking that button down below and even that little bell for notifications because I talk about all kinds of cool stuff Las Vegas related and you don't want to miss out. So what are contingencies? That's a good question. Purchasing a home is one of the largest financial commitments you'll ever make and it's understandable to want to protect your investment throughout the home buying process. As a buyer, you'll eventually reach a point where you have to make an offer on a house. The offer will be presented in a form of a purchase agreement, also known as a contract. This is one of the most important documents you will encounter during the home buying process. So you need to understand everything that goes into it, and that includes contingencies. Here are some of the most common contingencies in a purchase agreement. Number one, financing contingency. This contingency ensures that you're not on the hook if something goes awry with the loan. If you're unable to secure a mortgage and the terms and conditions change significantly during the contingency period, you can back out without any penalties. Number two, home inspection contingency. This contingency gives you a set time to have a home inspection done on the property. Should issues be found, there's a couple of scenarios that could happen. One, you can request for repairs and have the seller fix the issues that you feel are important. Or two, the seller will say he or she will fix some of the items and not the others. Or the seller will say that they will give you a credit and toward your closing costs in lieu of fixing those conditions. Number three, appraisal contingency. This contingency protects you if the home appraises below the sales price. When this happens, it is up to you to make the difference, either by securing additional financing or paying out of pocket, or you can renegotiate the deal with the seller. If none of these methods work, then this contingency allows you to back out without losing your earnest money deposit. Number four, a home sale contingency. This contingency is crucial if you're selling an existing home while buying a new one. Essentially, it says your purchase relies on the ability of you being able to sell your current home by a specific date. If you haven't accepted an offer in that period, you can withdraw and still get your earnest money deposit back. Number five, occupancy contingency. This contingency protects you if you need to move into your new home by a specific time. It gives you possession of the home on the date you specify. Real estate contingencies are a double-edged sword for home buyers. They give you a legal way to back out of a transaction if some unforeseen event occurs. And that's a good thing. But this can make your offer less appealing to the seller, especially in a hot market when homes are getting multiple offers. And that's a downside. Market awareness should be your guide. Bottom line is this. It is wise to use certain types of purchase agreement contingencies when buying a home. They prevent you from getting trapped into buying a home that you don't want anymore or you just can't afford. But you have to exercise good judgment when including these contingencies into your contract. One contingency too many and the seller might reject your offer. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. And remember, if you or anyone you know is thinking about buying or selling in Las Vegas, have them give me a call at 702 370-5112. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.